snake here. What time is that? And now for something completely different. That was an actual real life robot. This is not some kind of um, science fiction uh, movie. Uh, not not a rendering, an, an AI rendering of something. This is an actual. This was actually a live human robot, as it exists right now, uh, made by Tesla. And the thing that um, impressed me the most about this is, um, you know, usually when you think about robots, uh, real life robots. Not ones in science fiction movies, but real life robots. You think of like how clunky they are, where like where very stiff movements. But this one showed a very a lot of flexibility, just like um, just like the human body, or even better than the human body. And it was vi highly impressive. And and it's here. Tesla has completely built it. Uh, they're ready to go into mass production. I believe it's the end, towards the end of this year, or. Um, sometime next year so very very soon uh, this was published uh, like th three weeks ago robots like like tesla optimus are a five trillion dollar opportunity um, morgan stanley analysts have analysts have estimated that a humanoid robot market could offer a five million dollar five trillion dollar opportunity by the middle of the century this massive opportunity could be tapped by tesla thanks to its optimus humanoid robot the analysts, however, noted that the humanoid, ro humanoid robots will likely be mostly used in industrial commercial em deployments, which makes sense. Um, you're going to get the most use out of them if they're doing a, a, a lot of like repetitive work in, in like manufacturing uh, plants or, or work which, which um, needs the heavy lifting, which is going to be like a, a higher toll on a human body or something that's, that may be risky for injury. Makes perfect sense that, that that they would mostly be used in um, in, in in the in, in the industrial world. Um, estimates from Morgan estimates from Morgan Stanley analysts point to humanoid robots hitting five trillion in global revenue by 2050. This, the analysts noted, noted, would be about double the total revenue of the 20 of the of the 20 largest automakers in 2024. In 2050, Morgan Stanley analysts estimated that there might be about 1 billion humanoid robots deployed. I, can, I mean, 2050, that's 25 years from now. We're going to be like, you know, those of us who are still here, uh, we're going to just be walking in uh, outside on the street and you can just be robots like at every corner. It's just like some kind of futuristic society. The robots will just be around. They're saying 1 billion will be around by, uh, by uh, 2050. As noted in the report from investing.com, the shift to humanoid robots will be gradual. By 2035, the analysts estimated that just about 13 million humanoid robots will be in use, most of which will be in used in industrial and commercial settings. So 13 million in just 10 years. Even in 2050, when analysts estimated that 1 billion human, humanoid robots will be in use, an estimated 90% might still be used in industrial and commercial settings. Um, Tesla potential, of course, because they have such a head start. I don't even know of any other company that's even close to uh, what what Tesla has achieved so far. They're they're you know I, I don't even know who the second uh, the second best would be uh, in terms of um, how far they've come. Uh, Morgan Stanley noted that companies like Tesla, which control the brains, bodies, branding, and ecosystems of the humanoid robots, would be able to offer the highest value. This is good news for Tesla's Optimus program as it is a product that is designed to be produced at an extreme scale. During first quarter 2025 all hands meeting, Elon Musk reiterated the idea that Optimus would very well become the biggest product of all time. That's that's saying something considering how much he's already achieved with SpaceX and, and uh, self-driving cars that he thinks the, the robots would be uh, the, the biggest one so far, uh, of all time. Uh, most importantly, Musk 
also stated that Tesla is internally aiming to acquire enough resources to produce 10,000 to 12,000 Optimus robots this, this year. So 2025 um, looks like Tesla is ready to go into full production mode, 10, 10 to 12,000 this year. But even if te Tesla just manages half of that number or, or about 5,000 Optimus robots this year, it would be already be impressive, like, exactly, uh, considering um, no other company, I don't think, has even uh, up to the to the design specs that uh, Optimus has. Even 5,000 robots, that's the size of a Roman legion, FYI, which is like a little scary thought. Like a whole region of robo robots, I'll be like, whoa, but I think we will internally build a legion, at least one legion of robots this year, and then probably 10 legions next year. I think it's kind of a cool unit, you know, units of legion. So probably 5,000-ish next year. Uh, yeah, uh, Imagine seeing a whole army of robots coming, and it's like uh, not lo not any longer in uh, in just movies or TV shows, but you actually see it out in society. Um, incredible! Um, like I said, I I have not seen anyone else even come close to making a robot um, that's um, that with, has that flexibility and that um, functionality. And lest you just think that it's just there to entertain, it's, which is not, with, with dancing. Um, there's also another, uh, I'd like to leave you another video of, of, ro of his robots uh, doing other things other than, than dancing. Um, it's really quite incredible. TV. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. If you subscribe, make sure to check the little bell icon anytime someone from our network drops new content here. Want some Geek Time swag? Check out the merchandise available in the Geek Time TV store, linked in the channel description below. Share Geek Time TV with friends, and as always, thank you for your support. We'll see you soon.